Okay, guys, chapter two. Here we go. Oh, man. The ending of the first chapter was just... Harsh. I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> And the fifth time... He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger but he left it as family <clears throat> guess that's that then what happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. I... I think I did, like he called. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? another fight oh, with man. Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying. 
pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life. Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Hey, maybe the call got dropped. Or oh, shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Right, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just trying... Okay, I'm just listening to the story. Like, sorry. I'll talk later. I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, hell. I'm just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me interrupt. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not That's you? It. Wait's over. Everyone out. <sighs> Poor Alex. Okay, staff is going up, right? Alex? Yeah. Hey, fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Mm. I will be. I guess. Not really. But I, I will be. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Sure. Okay, I wonder what was the first aura we've seen from Mac. Like, before the red one. I think it was, like, blue or purple? So, I wonder what's the meaning of this. Got scared? You play guitar? Uh, it was a gift. Yes, sir. Well, it was a gift. Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Hmm. I really wonder if Mac got the call. I mean, he really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. 
We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? You actually kept it. Yes, said this now, maybe? Alex. You're fine. You're fine. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness. To yeah, that's out how to sadness. Okay, I need to rewatch uh the whole uh, conversation in the beginning to see if it was like actually the same color no i think like it was more purple the the aura around the uh, mac and what i was wanted like what i wanted to say was uh if it's actually mac and he did get the call and did nothing about it that would be i guess too easy of an explanation i mean this life is strange it's supposed to be Way more complicated. Find out why Steph is sad. Uh, wait. Okay, let's see, Ryan. Alex, I'm so sorry. I should have saved him. I don't know what to say. I mean, I... Don't even want to imagine uh, myself in his situation. Because, like... There is a chance Gabe was uh, already heavily injured after he was hit by that rock. And maybe... Would die anyway. But if it didn't do that, Alex would die. Pretty much. That's like one of the hardest decisions to do. Oh man, and probably if someone is blaming blaming himself, it's Ryan. Oh man. Sh wait, Charlotte. Alex, I'm so sorry. You don't have to respond, but I just wanted to tell you. Thank you for saving Ethan's life. I don't know what I would do if I lost him. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. <sighs> man. Hey Alex, it's Steph. I'm so, so sorry. I loved Gabe. I can only imagine what you're going through. Please call me if you need anything. Alex, I'm so sorry. Please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Oh, morning Alex. Did you get my notes? I'm holding a small service for Gabe at uh, 9 a.m. today, if you'd, if you'd care to join us. No pressure at all. Thanks, Jet. I'll be down soon. Glad to hear it. And about the memories, I actually uh, realized during the editing of the first uh, two parts of the first uh, chapter. Uh, when exactly I messed up and didn't notice them, so I will uh, probably just gonna do the the whole memories uh, video separately. So now, even if I find them, I won't do anything. Okay, now let's see the game. Love that Gabe was going to be part of a LARP would have been fun to see. Charlotte's sculpture. I wonder how she's really holding up. One of the happiest memories I have. Thanks, Gabe. Oh, man, why like that? Foosball champion? Why would that make her so sad? Okay.
Oh man, this is so freaking cool. Now I can find out what's really going on with Steph. Okay, let's start with a bottle. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aw, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. <laughs> what are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm. Badass. That name, though. Okay, now let's see that. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Wait, anything else? I'm just gonna say that, that that is actually amazing the way they uh, did this part of gameplay. I think this might be the best Life is Strange game. I haven't played uh, Tell Me Why, and well, it's not really Life is Strange, but like it's sort of Life I is need Strange. To find out why Steph is so upset. Speak, Steph. Sorry. This is so embarrassing. I just need some time. Okay. Um. Okay, what am I missing? Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Um, 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 um. Oh, okay. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? I think I know enough to help her now. Okay, so if I understand, she was about to leave. Then, uh, basically, they play together and... He did everything he could to make her stay and she stayed and this is was like this was like the bottle they drank and he, that was Kanye's price for winning and making her stay and basically because he kept it she realized how much uh, he cared about her how much important she was to him Oh man still can't believe he's gone Yeah He's the whole reason I'm still... Here. I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. Can I get you a drink or anything? No, thanks. I appreciate the offer, though. Sure. That wasn't right. Wait, okay, foosball, video game, music. Well, I guess foosball is gonna be the the right one, but probably I'll have to... S I could put on a record, if you like. Probably I'll have to uh, go with all of them. Nah, not really in the mood. Maybe something else? Video game. Want to get a few matches of Dino Racer in? Could be a nice distraction. No thanks. I just need a minute. That didn't help. And now it's foosball. A 
And now she'll. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? Hmm. Had a hunch. Yeah, had a hunch. I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. Am I gonna control that? Or... Ah, uh, probably not. First to five points? If you say so. Okay. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. Okay. D and A. Oh, okay, so it's like... You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, oh. how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Ah, damn it. Gotcha. Okay, I'm actually winning. Should I give her some points? Okay, she's not even trying. Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, she did you not even. Your best. She did not I even mean, try. That obviously wasn't my best. No. I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh. Is that how it is? Okay, okay. Joking aside, playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. Okay, so now it's gonna be the real game. Okay. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted oh. or anything. Okay. Certainly not. That's gonna be a five zero. Span of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. Oh, okay. Actually, I think maybe I played this game uh, in reality maybe one time. Oh, yeah, dang it. That's it. Woo! Shit. Oh, that's a win. I was actually trying that time. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's get serious. One more game, winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. Mm, I don't know. Come on. You know Gabe would be all about us playing like this. Well, then it's settled. Okay, let's try. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. Oh. 
I think I just figured out a cheat code. Hey, so are you into girls or what? Uh, <laughs> he both? <laughs> yes. I'll date anybody, assuming they're my type. <laughs> What's your type? I'll let you know when I meet them. Okay, she's like straight away going for that. Who's what? 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 Uh. Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Old enough to know better. What did she say? I did not even hear her. Okay, I messed this one up. Oh, okay. Bad timing. I'm not gonna lose that. Yes. Five free again. Foos ball champion. Foos ball champion. Damn, <laughs> shit, family. Oh, good game. <sighs> Thanks, Alex. I'm really glad you talked me into it. It was a lot of fun. Of course. Um. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? Need to learn more. I I'm think not sure so. what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back, no matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Okay, so that was the first actual conversation Bye. with Steph. Bye. <sighs> well, yeah, I knew that stuff is awesome. I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? That would be too easy. And well, I said boat, basically, I'm still not sure which way to go. Like, I know that, uh... From the Steam page of the game, I have two options, right? So, well, let's see. Okay, I still have some some time. Okay, wait, my block. Gabe was the most caring person I've ever met. He never stopped looking for ways to make it to make life better. Whether, oh man. Whether that meant coming to Haven to find his dad or to find his dad or fighting to get a grill all the way up the stairs to his rooftop. And he was always willing to help anyone else who wanted to improve their lives. He probably put even more hours into my college interview than I did. He was the kind of person you meet once in a lifetime. Goodbye. Goodbye, Gabe. I'll miss you forever. Lovely message, dear. I'm here if you want to talk. Same here. We're having a send-off for Gabe Chan at the Lantern on Wednesday at 9 a.m. All are welcome. Bring something that reminds you of him. I'll bring some food for everyone, too. Thanks, Jason.
Oh man. This is just sad. Oh, well, I know that there's supposed to be crack here. Essay? A kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything. Okay. And I think I actually a read this. A kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything. I think I actually uh, read this as SAT on the first recording. At least uh, during the editing, it seems like that. So it's CIT. Oh man. Okay. Well. Oh, let's clean the dishes. Before going down, let's make sure everything is as it's supposed to be. It's a start. Well, consequences. So long, depression food. Well, good idea. Oh, wait, let me sh let me see something. Notes to self. Okay, I don't have any. But I guess mm, I do have something about actually uh, cleaning this place. At least I got to have a few good moments. <sighs> yeah. Cape really meant the world to Steph. Gabe used to swat the controller out of my hands if he thought I was going to beat him. Jerk. Oh. Thank God for this thing. We'd never have found Ethan without it. Well, at least Ethan is safe, but... I wonder if... Somehow there's actually a reason... For him going there... On that specific day. Not much to toast at the moment. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Um, the clothes? Hasn't even been a week. Okay, let's change some clothes. Oh. Okay, I know that this is Life is Strange too. Okay, I'll go with the wolves. Yes, thank you. I actually would love to get uh, this this one. It looks great. Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. Oh, dirty clothes. Okay. See? I can be a person. Clean home, clean mind. Right, Dr. Lin? Okay, I'm supposed to go downstairs. Well, I see some mess. But, like... Let's actually check out upstairs for a sec. Oh, the beers. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Empty? I'll toss those soon. I swear. No birds today. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Man, that is actually... Just mesmerizing. I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. Golf. Yeah. This thing's been up here a while. Isn't that Steph's old band? Okay, so basically this thing means I can interact with this with uh, her powers. And by that, I will receive a memory. But because I messed up completely on the first uh, chapter, I decided to just uh, collect everything uh, and make a video out of it separately. Gabe was such a dad. Gabe really loved this place. Mm, okay, let's sit for a sec. I 
I thought this was going to be the one. Finally. Despite all the disappointments, I really let myself believe. I believed you. Completely. I let myself hope. Really hope. For the first time in years. Even after I freaked out in front of you and hit you, you didn't push me away. You sat right there and told me that I wasn't broken, that I was special, and I belonged. Then you died, and I don't know what to believe now, except you're gone again, and I'm still here. Alone. <laughs> Oh man, the soundtrack. Look at this. Just... Just wow. Oh, sun and moon. Why look up at the sky when you could look at a sculpture instead? Okay, let's go downstairs and see. <sighs> okay, I think let's leave. I think I cleaned everything. I mean, not completely everything, but everything I could. Okay. Was there a fight here? Okay, no things to do. Hmm. Oh, hey kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Wanted to apologize. For all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake. And you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. Wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. Okay, so there we go. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just... Don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Hmm, <laughs> I have to... I don't have a choice. He was my brother. I have to at least try. Yeah, you do. But, if you get a chance before you go all dirty hairy, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs.
This is your home now for as long as you'd like. As long as I like? Really? I don't want to make any assumptions or put any pressure on you about what to do next, but you're always welcome. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> okay, he seems nice, but like, I know there's a mystery. I, I have no idea what to even say to him. Hey, that was terrible. You shouldn't have had to see that. I know you're going through a lot, but can we talk? I know it's asking a lot, but I think I really need to talk to you. I mean, yeah. You two definitely need to talk. But what I was uh, saying is basically, I shouldn't trust anyone. Wait, what? A year ago, I was ready to ditch this place, to keep moving like I always do. And a year ago, Gabe was the reason I stayed, but even though he's gone now, and even though I miss him like hell, I still have reasons to stay. Thanks for showing me that, Alex. Even if you do cheat at foosball. Girl, please, I'm the champ, fair and square. Uh, McLaughlin has deleted their comments. Okay, notes to self, visit the dispensary, investigate the flower shop. Okay, now I just need to, you know, find everything. Wall of shame. I bet Gabe would be up here a lot if he wasn't the one taking the pictures. Okay. I think that's enough for this part. So just let me... Oh, that is actually... Ooh. Okay, let's leave. Okay. People just... Okay. Jed okay. said I might find Mac in the flower shop. But I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Okay. Yeah, I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay. This game is definitely interesting and I want to reveal what is the mystery behind what happened. And when, when, where is Max when we actually need her powers? But well, that would be easy. Oh man. Well, I hope you enjoyed that guys. Take care and see you soon.